So when I was a student, Luke approached me, and I was the prayer coordinator at the time, and he said, Alisa, what if we had daily prayer meetings instead of just prayer meetings once or twice a week? And so I was excited about it, and we decided that the first step was to talk to our leadership team. So I went to the first prayer room, and I realized that I didn't want to leave. And as prayer rooms kept happening, same thing kept happening, I just didn't want to leave. And the more that people opened my eyes to things on campus that I could be praying for, the more that I wanted to, and the more that God was opening my heart to things that I could be praying for on campus. And the more, it's weird to say, but the more I started to believe in the power of what I was praying for. I was just thinking about this honestly today, as like the more I've been praying, I think the more more conviction I'm starting to feel and just like which sounds like negative kind of but I feel like I'm growing a lot more like I just feel it's like more constant and in, in like me being exposed to more areas of sin in my life more areas of brokenness and like it feels negative but I also know that's where God is moving the most and that's where I'm growing. When students experience God in prayer it often comes with conviction with heart change with them seeing themselves and in, in the campus in a different way. And that's really exciting because that's God at work in their life and it leads to more of what God is doing here. When I was a student, we had more self-focused prayer. So we had a lot of journaling activities that was focused on like, how are you doing right now? And how can you be um, spending time or how can God um, serve you? But instead we've just changed the vision for daily prayer meetings to be, how can we serve God? How can we be serving the campus through our prayers? There are a bunch of things we pray for, but three themes stand out. We have prayed that God would reach down and save some people, that students would make decisions to follow him. We pray that our chapter would grow in numbers. We also pray that our chapter would grow in diversity. And the following year, last year, all of those things happened. Yeah, before I came here, I've, I've heard that a lot of people were praying to have um, uh, black students come to university here on campus. And I believe the year before there weren't if there was BCM, there weren't a lot of students in it, but my sophomore year, it grew. I believe we had like 20 people coming sometimes, and so it was really cool to hear that their prayers were answered. Two weeks ago at our, our university large group, we had 13 people make commitments to follow Jesus, and four of them are, are in my life group, and now that you mention that, that's like a very big deal. And so there's a big responsibility, I feel like, to, to invest in them and make sure they're doing okay, and like actually following through with their commitments and so that's a blessing like as scary as it may seem to like have that like taking care of them I'm like equally as just encouraged and grateful. I believe that prayer leads to revival. First it starts with personal revival where God transforms our hearts and shows us places where we need to change, convicts us of sin, but then it move beyond that to where our heart for the campus grows. And we desire for other people to know Jesus in the way that we know him.